so it's over. Yeah, what is um, what is this offense that y'all are going to face look like in terms of a challenge for y'all, particularly when you start to look at some of y'all's absences, mm -hmm. dealing with that tempo? What does that look like for those of you that are out there having to manage that? Yeah, uh, you know, we got some guys that are just coming in and playing, so like guys like Terrence and guys like Kerry. So just with a hurry up offense, you got to make sure that you know your assignments you know, at all times, so because you never know, you know when they're going to go hurry up. So uh, just making sure you know your assignments and just instilling in those guys that you got to stay focused through the whole game because you know, hurry up offense is a, it's a, it's a bad boy, so you just got to um, know, you know your stuff. What's it been like to see Manny and John Trey transitioning mm -hmm. back to the secondary after starting to focus on receiver the last yeah. last year and then earlier this year? Uh, just shows what athletes they are. Um, that's, that's definitely a hard thing to do, especially in the SEC against our DBs and our receivers. So um, they're switching from back and forth. That, that shows how versatile they are. And, uh, you know, maybe they get the shot in the game uh, if we need it. For, for y'all at safety, Eric's a guy that a lot of people have been waiting to see. and. Coach Randall was just saying he'll probably get more time this week than he has all season. Mm -hmm. uh, what does he look like in practice? What does he bring to y'all? Uh, Eric, North Shore's finest, I like to say. Uh, you know, you, see, you saw North Shore, how they won the state championship. So he's, he won't stop giving me stuff because they finished above IMG in the um, national polls. They said they were number one. IMG, I think, was like number four or five. So, um, yeah, just definitely uh, Eric is a great player. Always been. And, um, yeah, this, this week, you know, we got some guys down. So, He'll, he'll get his opportunity, and um, you know he's a great player. He's a hard hitter. He comes down hard. Uh, just knows his stuff at all times. So I think he's a very good player. You've been a guy that we've talked about all season. Your different roles, playing all over the defense, and just having a lot of different responsibilities. Is there any advice that you give to some of these guys that are now in, to a degree, a similar situation where they're going to have to move around a little bit, particularly uh, as the game goes on? Um, you saying it's because I moved around a little bit? Yeah, just in terms of that versatility through the course yeah. of a game. Uh, you know, it's definitely hard. You gotta, you gotta definitely know know your stuff. Um, you can go from playing safety to being up in the box to blitzing off the edge. So um, it's definitely a hard, hard challenge. But uh, I think our guys are ready for it. And just guys that like Jacoby that's gonna be in some spots. Uh, you know, he's he's matured over the the amount he's matured over the past two three weeks is is crazy. So uh, he's definitely ready for it. And. Um, I'm just, I'm just excited for, for what they got. What's the biggest differences you've seen from him from like three months ago yeah. to a month ago to now? Uh, just, just, you know, Jacoby's a freak athlete. You know, he was just in the, in the gym yesterday. He went me a dunking and all that stuff. So uh, just, just seeing how his mind has progressed and um, how his film and studies progress and just, just knowing more and more of his stuff because uh, as, as the season goes on, you got to just mature with it. So I think he's definitely done that. He made a couple of great plays against Texas A&M, and uh, I think that really set set the mindset for him uh, that that you know he can do it, and um, you know we're ready for it. How different does their offense look quarterback to quarterback? Because they they yeah. went through a change a few weeks back to mm -hmm. um, how different do they look? What does this guy bring? Uh, this, this guy is, uh, he got, definitely got a big arm. Uh, you know he could throw the ball down the field. Uh, McKenzie, it's, it sucks what you know what happened to an injury, that terrible injury. Uh, he was a great quarterback, man. Uh, you know, he he really had control of the offense. But I, I think this um, this this guy uh, has a has a good uh, idea of what's going on, and uh, he could definitely throw the ball pretty good. Let's talk about the matchup and, and what are you preparing for? You know, them being a team that's won a lot of games and row hasn't lost. Yeah. Uh, just 25 no, that's pretty, 24, 25 no, that's pretty, it's pretty hard to do. So uh, we just get ready for, me at Chris, I just get ready for the speed and you know, the speed of the offense. The speed of the game is going to be pretty fast. And, uh, you know, DBs, DBs like games when they throw the ball a lot. It's a lot of opportunities for us. So uh, we just ready for it, um, you know, ready for their offensive schemes, all that. And uh, it's going to be a great game. Do you, are you going to try and uh, try and get in their head, you know, to kind of stop them from doing some stuff out there? Uh, yeah, I think well, one of the things they do is hurry up offense. So uh, just incomplete pass, stop that. Uh, just getting off the field on third down stops that. Uh, you know, third and long, stop that. So just trying to uh, get all that in store. And um, I think we should have a pretty good shot. Yeah.